So starting from where I am now, if I had nothing. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey. So for everyone in our audience that does not know who Kristen Butler is, Kristen is the CEO and founder of Power of Positivity, a business comprising of nearly uh, 50 million audience members collectively. Wow. Kristen has absolutely phenomenal marketing knowledge and business development skills, having been on social media since 1998. Kristen's passion and purpose is to uplift the planet by providing daily inspiration, motivation, and tools to live a happier life. Kristen, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on CEO Spheres Two Minutes Long Question podcast. Thank you for having me. That was that was a great introduction. So the one question that our audience selected for you was, what is the one thing that you would change if you were to start from zero with the knowledge you have now? One thing I would change from where I am right now? Starting okay. from zero with okay. the knowledge you have. So the only thing that it remains is your current knowledge. Okay, my current knowledge, not my situation. What would I do differently to, to rebuild? I would be more positive every single day because the more I got into this, the more I realized that my thoughts every single day, my words, my actions, perpetuate my business, my life, my relationships. So before I, I knew positive thinking worked, but the more I go along, I say, oh my gosh, I can't even believe where I would be now if I would have been even more positive and believed in myself and, and went from there. So if I, So starting from where I am now, if I had nothing, what would I do differently? I wouldn't do anything differently. I would just literally be more positive and use that every single day of my life into my business. And for example, when I first got into it, you know, I've always been positive, but I never realized that it comes down to the things that you surround yourself with, your lifestyle, your habits, the people that are around you. And it's not just wish wishful thinking. That's how you build numbers. That's how you expand. That's how you attract the people in your business for more growth. I mean, it's literally the single biggest thing, but I wouldn't do it differently. I would just have done it more. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> that makes total sense. And that was an excellent answer because I feel like we all need more positivity, yes. no matter how much positivity we currently have. No, so really. yeah, absolutely. So I think your answer was absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Thank you so much for this. Thank you, Thank you so much for this answer. And I just have one last question on a personal note. Is there someone who you think we should definitely get on our podcast? Bob Proctor. <laughs> I originally saw him in The Secret. So, you know, Ooh. I thought that I had it all, not figured out, but I thought I knew how to create. But when I saw him in The Secret, and now he's a mentor of mine, I realized that repetition and keeping your thoughts positive are just even more incremental in everything. So I would definitely recommend Bob Proctor because he's awesome. just a man, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 60 years now. So... He's good. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Talk Take to care. you soon. Thanks bye bye. So much. And we are back in the sphere. That was Kristen Butler from Power of Positivity. What a tremendous answer that was, Robbie. Genuinely, I really feel like, as cliche as it sounds, for us to say, hey, just be more positive. Yeah. You have to be more positive. That is exactly what we need, even when we are as positive as I am right now. What do you think? Yeah, the one thing that really struck me was that immediately from her answer, I was thinking about the law of attraction. 
and you you know what you put out there is what you get back so if you are spreading more positivity if you are more positive towards people if you're more positive to your approach in life then what comes back to you more positivity people yeah and let me tell you on that note the the law of attraction never works for the people who never believe in it and never try it so there there we go it's as simple as that it's the same with positivity Mm -hmm. if you just think to yourself well i'm going to be more positive today and i will be the best but then you don't really believe it and you bring yourself down you will never be happy truly why because you don't trust in positivity you don't trust in the law of attraction so true and i think it sprinkles down into like your interactions anyway so as much as you try to be positive as much as you try to spread that love if it's not coming from a place of love if you are trying to force it through words rather than how it truly how it comes from the heart right like people will sense it it will it won't feel genuine it will look It will look fake. It will feel fake. And therefore that only comes off on you. Like you have to have, as you said, the trust that you are, you are pursuing this because it makes you happy because you feel positive doing so everything that you do, like trust in your actions and just approach it positively. Absolutely. And that is the absolute truth right you can never fake anything without the universe noticing it that that's my my belief right if you are going to try and fake you can fool a few people right you can fool a few people but you will never fool the universe right because the universe will see what actually you are after and the universe will notice that you are just trying to be positive for the sake of being positive. You're just trying to attract because I really love money. And unfortunately, the universe will notice that and will give you in return fake money, monopoly, right? Yeah, Yeah, It serves you no purpose. Mm. And if I can add to that as well, where you said like the universe will notice, tell you someone else who will notice too. And that's you. You can't fool yourself. There we go. And that is why I feel like in that lies the importance of building fake brands. That's something that it's a topic that I would love to discuss. And I would love to hear from our audience. Let us know in the comments, have you ever seen someone who just eh, doesn't look genuine? Someone who, you know, they're building a brand. They seem to be doing great, but there is something off about it tell us in the comments we've seen a few we've seen a few people and we've noticed and we've acknowledged that those people are building a fake brand with fake sales with a fake positivity with fake skills Mm -hmm. and guess what that will only stand for just a bit it's just a facade but what happens inside Oh, the body can notice, all right? The body can notice and your brain will notice and your brain will know that you're building a fake brand. What's your experience with that, Robbie? I would love to hear a bit about it. Well, for me, I honestly, I never want to say that anyone is truly building a fake brand. I feel if anything, when we see that, when we experience that, I think that the person is lost and they need guidance to find whatever it is that they are truly seeking in their life. And they need But I would have help. to disagree. Pardon me, I would have to disagree on this one because we there are clearly people out there who are building a fake brand. I mean, you can see it. they have thousands and of followers 20,000 and then yeah. they get 
five comments and a hundred likes out of nowhere. And one of those comments is their mother. So, I mean, that's obvious. They are building a fake brand. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely know where you're coming from. I just, I, I kind of like, from my heart, I feel it's too, it, it's too harsh to say that they have a fake brand. I guess I'm trying to be nice. What I don't want to say but to someone they is- they have a real brand? They don't have- That's my question. They don't have a real brand. They're not building something that's going to stand the test of time. That That is the truth. But that that doesn't mean to say that, like, I don't feel that, they should ever like we should ever label them as fake we should accept that maybe they just don't understand the right process and it's about time that they opened up their heart to the right process and listened to the people but that know. how can they not understand if you're building something fake then you know it's fake some people are oblivious and they're not willing to change and we can only hope that the power of positivity can change their mindset. Well, that was Kristen Butler, and that was two minutes, one question. Uh, let us know in the comments once again, what did you think about Kristen's answer? Mm. How do you feel about the law of attraction? And how do you feel about projecting and really believing in positivity? Kristen Butler, two minutes, one question. Robbie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you once again to Kristen and to our wonderful audience who is listening and watching this episode. Thank you so much to all of you. That was a pleasure. And Alec, thank you so much too. Later. See you all later.